in the house from way back. One of the original players from the Himalayas. We give you that ambition to go and complete that mission. We give you that ambition to go and complete that mission. We give you that ambition to go and complete that mission. We give you that ambition to go and complete that mission. We give you that ambition state of the art innovation center of Facebook Konalapana Eval University of Technology to bag a full bar the industrial designer get your eye here still in pants is cool nice it's what's going on but I already know we have something in common she wants to be an industrial designer and my clothes are designer what name Tando Ndashe age 22 education metric special qualification national diploma in industrial design I'm from Mugbank. Um, I come from a big family of 10 siblings, including myself. I have five sisters and four brothers. And yeah, I just come from a very uh, homey family, filled with love, excitement, different kind of people. Um, I come from a family of many diverse individuals. Um, my mom is an optometrist. My dad is a human resources manager. Uh, we have a teacher in the family, we have a pharmacist, we have a metalwork specialist, we have two accountants, we have electrical engineer, and then ultimately me, the designer. So yeah, that's me and my upbringing and the kind of people that I was raised around. Growing up with uh, a lot of siblings was great. I think it um, helped me with my confidence because you know, I was always surrounded by people. I was always, I'm a very outspoken person, so I was always opinionated, you know, and accepted in that way. I think my parents actually encouraged that we were different, you know, and sort of emphasized, you know, that, that difference within each of us. So everyone had their own interests and, you know, they nurtured that in us, so yeah. When I was in high school, because I didn't really know much about industrial design, I always thought that to create three-dimensional products, I'd need to study engineering. So at home, I spent a lot of time with my brother. We used to wash cars together. We used to, you know, install electricity because he's an electrician. And yeah, we used to just spend a lot of time. So he influenced my perceptions of life, you understand? So through that, I ended up enrolling uh, at UJ for engineering. And once there, I realized that that wasn't for me because through my journey with uh, design from grade nine to grade 10, I sort of developed a certain liking. I liked doing three-dimensional objects. So when I got to, to engineering, it was totally different. It was more maths and physics, and that isn't who I am, even though I had maths and physics at school. She went to UJ, and um, I said, Tando, but you are more inclined to designing than engineering. She said, okay, engineering, uh, design is part of engineering. And I said, as a human resources manager, I know exactly what, what is it that you need to be doing. Why don't you look at that? She said, Dad, I'm taking this. So I said, okay, let's go and enroll. She went and got enrolled, I think it was 2011. A month after that, she discovered that um, engineering was not um, part of um, what she's made of.
before I left UJ, I went to go get an aptitude test. And in the aptitude test, they showed that I have a 95% uh, compatibility with industrial design that I didn't know of at the time. And then 87 with graphic design and 93 with culinary arts. So, but then after that, they referred me to um, Bunting Road Campus where the course was offered. And that's where I, I discovered the course. I got to see what they do and actually linked it with my interests. I remember when I got there, there was only five um, black females, which was very intimidating for me because, you know, back in school, I knew, you know, I had the special thing because I was the only person doing product design in my school. But at the time, when I was studying the school, <laughs> But yeah, when I got there, it was quite intimidating to see that there, were, there weren't that many people doing the course. And yeah, as, as the year progressed in first year, I started seeing people drop out, which is something that, because when I left engineering, it wasn't just as easy as leaving. I also went through a phase of difficulty where I started feeling like a dropout, even though you know, I knew that you know, I was destined for something bigger. But because I didn't know what it was, it was a bit you know, depressing at the time. So when I got to the cause and all of these things were happening, I had to, you know, sacrifice a lot. I sacrificed a lot of my time. I spent a lot of time at school. I slept at school most of the time. So yeah, that. And then I met a friend, Wanda, who also at the end of first year left. So by the time I started second year, I was the only black girl and with other three white girls. So all in all, there was four of us. And the ratio in general in the cause of girls versus boys is almost like two for every 10 boys. So that also was very challenging for me, but you know, being in such an environment built my character and it also built my, my zeal for the cause. So tomorrow I'm gonna go to VUT to go apply for an internship for a national design program and this would mean a lot to me because VUT is uh, one of the technology stations in the country that uses 3D printing and additive manufacturing. And it is my dream to become a manufacturer one day, so this would mean the world to me, to get an internship in such a place, you know, experience all these things and be exposed to all the machinery. So wish me luck, guys. Tando, uh, what I want to say to you is that you have made me proud. Uh, from where we started and what I see your ambition is all about, uh, go for it, never look back. And uh, the one thing that I want you to remember always, pray uh, because um, you need to get to God, um, to, be, uh, to partner with God in whatever you do. So go for it. I know uh, it is within our genes that uh, we are not failures. Uh, look where I started from and what I achieved in life. Get to Sotala Sipanda Mongo, Waga Impilo, Ishincha Ko, Melu Kenya and Galento Oyo and Abafetu, the Kugas in Gamos and Ganabu interview. Labat Melabonus, Uz Tembile, Utando Gas, Melabonus, Catalan Sonka, Catalan Sprita, Alaba Funda Ganzima, Sobon Pumela Oljan, Javaga Alpin Sakona Lapanaga, a technology transfer and innovation, Southern Hau Teng, Bafetu Science and Technology, Park Econagona Lapana Esbuke, Javaga Alsha interview Yake. Get to me, I have three words for you. You go, girl. I'd like to welcome you. Just a brief introduction. My name is Dr. Joe Moletti. I'm the director here at the Science Park. And I'd like my colleagues to introduce themselves. I'm Leslie Baker. I'm the head of the Industrial Design Department. I'm Claudia Nchingila. I'm an HR consultant for TTI. Right, so just a brief introduction. The Val University of Technology has about 10 years as a, a University of Technology and we will be about 50 years in existence next year. But here at the Science Park, or Science and Industrial Park, which is based here in Sibuke, we work very closely with people on main campus. And our mission really is to create an ecosystem where we work with various stakeholders, including researchers, entrepreneurs, and industry partners. And our mission is really to take ideas, build prototypes so that we can commercialize them, we have products on the shelf. I don't know how much you know about us. Anyway, why did you apply for this position? 
Um, I applied to VUT because um, of the additive manufacturing and how how it's a, a, a uprising trend in manufacturing. I also aspire to be a manufacturer one day, so that's why I applied to VUT. I believe that I can get experience from designing for additive manufacturing as an industry and it will grow my knowledge for the manufacturing company that I want to start. Great, no, you are in the right, at the right place, definitely. Uh, Les, maybe you can share a few insights about what the position is all about. Yes, um, as a practicing industrial designer myself for, for several years, um, I must say I feel very privileged being here and working for this um, university for the last five, six years. Um, I've gained a lot of experience in additive manufacturing and I do think that you will really enjoy this environment. Um, but you'll find here yeah, that um, your expertise will actually flourish in an environment like this. We we're not just doing prototyping but also manufacturing, using additive manufacturing um, or 3D printing as most people know it. So um, from that point of view I think you'll, you'll learn a lot. Um, your learning curve will be it's probably much faster than most people out there. Um, and I really think you're going to have a lot of fun and the creativity, we've, we have a very nice dynamic team, a lot of creativity. When it comes to product design, I think you, you would be in the right place if you are selected for this uh, position. Claudia? Just want to, um, you to tell us briefly about your skills. Uh, what specific skills are you bringing in this internship program? The skills that I'd be bringing to VUT is that I can draw. I am good with 3D modeling as well, as well as prototyping. From uh, my tertiary education, I was taught in numerous manufacturing processes that I can apply to VUT's prototyping. Okay, do you have a, an assignment that you can share with us that will demonstrate your skills, probably the ones that you've done during your studies or maybe in your part-time um, and work? Um, in my second year, well, this was a group project, but I was still involved. In my second year, we had to design um, a device, a household appliance that could compress um, PET bottles, right? So that was the brief, and the design was supposed to suit a home environment. So with the actual prototype, me and my teammates actually made it ourselves, and we paint everything at uh, TUT's workshop. So this was the, the design. And this is the CAD rendering of it. And then on the next page, you'd see how the final product came out like. And it was a functional product that could be tested and used. So I think that's a good demonstration of my abilities to prototype. It looks interesting. Very impressive. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what program did you use to, to produce these um, beautiful drawings? Um, for, for the, the presentation side, I use Coral Draw, and then for the 3D modeling and the rendering, I use SolidWorks. SolidWorks, that's what we're using, so that's yeah. a very good skill to have for us. Yeah. Just wondering, um, your design process that you would use, can you maybe just describe the design process? Since I've only had a tertiary experience in this, the brief would then come from our lecturer. We take up the brief and we take maybe a day or two to read the brief, try and understand it. From that phase, we go into research and see what are the constraints of this product. And then from that phase, then we'd go into idealization and conceptualization. And for 3D modeling, I'd then start looking at factors of design that would influence um, the design of my product. Then once we are finished with our 3D modeling and we are confident with the product, you know, it gets evaluated once again in terms of manufacturing, are the uh, edges rounded off, all of those things, the, the finer details that are involved in the product, and then from that phase it can be taken into production, of which it's still a phase that I haven't personally gone into. But yeah, well, my phase would end in prototyping when I prove to my lecturer that this is, this is the product that I've started with, this is what I'm ending with my prototype. Tondo, um, yes, I hear you saying that you haven't been involved with the manufacturing side. Um, what we're going to do with you is I'm going to assign a mentor um, that you will basically shadow. I must probably give you three tasks. That will be conceptualization, 3D modeling, and the prototyping. And then from there we will give you little bits, little bits, so you can learn more and more and more and build your skills up. All right, I think we're probably done now, and we'd like to thank you for making the time, and you will hear from us soon. Thank you. Hustlers, it's
technology is like in charge of our feet. Call my product, I'm Marsha. I'm selling it now. Hey, Jolo, we're going to impress you. Zibeng, we're going to pin the foot. Zibeng, Luna. Tina, you're on board. We're going to go. Abu, we're going to go. 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 Astral Design. Kungaba ngumsebenzi ongabusiza ukuze ukwazi ukwenza izinto ezijabulisayo kwezomkhiqizo. Umkhiqizo ke wethembele olwazini nangendlela yokusebenza yama Industrial Designers ukuze ukwazi ukusebenza ngendlela eyenezisayo elungele idingo kwezethu singabantu empilweni zethu. Uwenza umkikuzo omuhle uma uupegile futi no luwazi lo usabe nzisega melula kitina na ngugutanga nisa ama kono kaya no luwazi lo unjiniela na ngugutukutu nisa ibiznisi yikona gubalegile. Baya pegi sisa, bapinde basho nisi segati iza kiwa zaabu. E intueni ezi paga palati ifenisha ama appliances uguza awazo usabe nza ngendela efaneli. Lababantu, yibona abenza uguti, sikwazo ugubana umkikizo esu ujwele ugu tenga. Gusugela ema polilene ama cold drinks, uguya guma TV na guma cell phones. Uguzo uguazo uguenza logo kube impumelelo. Umelo uguazo ugubana izi ndonga mesha engondo, ufindo uguazo ukasa sarashe imibona yako, nge mikikizo yako ofisa ugu yaka. Industrial designers, but the idea, the concept, the design is not manufacturing. Can I go anywhere? But if it's a kind of food or more product, it can be designer, furniture, capaliko automobile. How do you get into the fapalena? Or to a national diploma, get a bachelor's degree in industrial designing, engineering, get a architecture. The subjects are local language shaver, math or compulsory, physical science, visual arts, and graphic designs. And how popular can I go anywhere? Or local language with a portfolio of evidence who super bo honey ba how? Get hustlers, as we get in babu ringa mo, si spanning mo ba face. Joba spun bona utando. In action, I shake it. It's a catch your gala. Mina now we lepeka ngi. I see cars. I into gas. Kona lapana gutsi. Si si hashtag is spanning go tando. Let's get far amaz. Ugum kukuzela gutsi. Ienz umsebenz omosle. Cause you know why, masters? We are in this thing together. Together. We have a new client and we also have like a new brief. Okay. The client already has like an idea of what she wants and she did uh, a small sketch. Mm. As you can see, it shows like the dimensions, uh, what it is. Uh, so what she's supposed to do, it's like a, a skeleton and it's for hair, it's a product for hair braiding. Mm. Yeah, and you're just uh, supposed to design three concepts that are gonna go uh, that they're gonna follow the basic structure. Mm. Yeah, and the pictures, this is, this is what she would like uh, to, to achieve. This is the type of market that she wants to aim her product on. So this is what the product does? Yeah, yeah, this is what the product does. It's just, yeah, it's just, it's for hair braiding. Mm. It's, uh, the hair is supposed to just crisscross it. That's how it's supposed to be. So just try and develop uh, three concepts that uh, we can, that, that the client can be able to identify and see if there's one that we can take a direction in. The dimensions, it's, a one, uh, it's 160 by, one, uh, by 55 millimeters. 55, okay. So how does this connect to that? Like, is there a clip that has to hook into the hair or something? Yeah, there has to be a clip that's going to hook into the hair. Mm -hmm. And you also have to make the product uh, appealing. Appealing, OK. Yeah, yeah, and also it has to do its function. So it's two parts. It's uh, the skeleton and the clip. 
Yeah, yeah, it's a skeleton and a clip. Just try okay. and see if you can incorporate uh, the two together yeah. to make like concepts. Then we can choose the concept that we can take a direction in. Has the client specified which material they want to make? Uh, we're gonna specify that for 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 him. We're gonna specify that mm, okay. as the process continues, the okay. design process continues. I'm gonna come back and check up uh, like on the on the progress for your conceptual development and the ideation sketches. All right. Okay. Thanks. I'm Olona Neto Ma I'm 23, turning 24. I'm from the Eastern Cape. Uh, I went to uh, TUT, Tswana University of Technology in Pretoria to study industrial design. And I've, I finished uh, 2012, graduating in uh, 2013, which is when I started working uh, in the TTI, Technology Station VT in uh, Spokane. My mentor already explained what the product needs to do. It has a basic spine concept that I need to stick to. So that would be the constraint of the design. I can't change that, but I can try to make it more acceptable to the user and more uh, aesthetically pleasing. So basically pretty, right? So, but even with that, I need to take the function into consideration. And what I've seen with the function is that uh, if you look at the, 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 the way the thing has to function, you don't actually see the product. But in any case, since it has to sell, it still needs to look pretty. So in designing the aesthetics, I need to take that into consideration. Also, um, my mentor also mentioned that I need to create a clip system where people can add ornaments to the design and um, find a way to incorporate that in the design, in the, the bone structure, right? Usually when we start a new design, what we do is we first uh, take up the brief. And when we get the brief, we don't necessarily just take it and go do research. We actually have a session where we read the brief and make sure we understand it, we've interpreted it correctly according to the client's specifications and needs. Then we go back and rediscuss the brief with the client to make sure of all of that. And afterwards, we take the brief and we go do research, you know, of trends, trends available that are similar to that product and all the considerations that have to be taken. We, we, we sort of um, direct the client with our research. So we say, this is, this is what can be done, this is what can't be done, this is what we might experiment on. Only through research, we haven't started with concepts or anything. So our research becomes our guiding tool and our defining specification for idealization and concept, concept phase. Client, she actually wanted like a different approach uh, to the to hair clips that are commonly available on the market. So when she came to us, she came with an idea. So now she wanted us to develop the idea so that uh, it's gonna it's gonna sell more, and it has to be an idea that's gonna work and it has to be cheap. She knew that it would be best developed by industrial designers. Concept one is just basically a circles kind of vibe going on to the spine, making it look uh, more feminine. Circles are, you know, feminine and it goes with the shape of the head as well. So that is a functional aspect of the design. Concept two is the opposite because even that can get a bit challenging. It makes the task of putting in your hair longer. So with concept two, we try to compensate for that and making it free range. You open up the whole rib structure, but we still keep the curves and all of that so that you can put in the hair easily. Concept three, we try and incorporate both concept one and concept two, and in also putting in a fishbone inspired shape to it. So there we open up more leeway with the slits, uh, also compensating for the hair coming out so it makes it neater as well. But also the client also specified that she wants um, a ribbon to be, because she's basically designing this for school kids. I've had a look at the concept uh, already 
And the best suitable one would be a Concept One. I like Concept A. Uh, because of the aesthetics of Concept One, it's a different approach. It's nothing you've ever seen on the market. And I feel like Concept A would sell better, you know, it's easier on the eye. Because now with all the others, it, they, they have more of a functional aesthetic approach than Concept A. I think there are challenges that can be faced with Concept A that I would have to test through mock-ups and all of that. But it can be refined. I still feel like, you know, it's, it's the seller. From a young hustler, yes, experience. My hustlers, so Oka says how Oka theory how we practice. Oya says Oka Oka says so we to the next sona was about to see such a research. Oto hamo Oka says so we to the next sona. Oya says sing Oka sona. Oka says Oka who discuss the babang. The challenge ane the fumane ng hapeli or the kararol la yam matata island or atengi. The challenge is the lata Oya says must be to all. Har kuta papa song. Tando or design la head clip. Mac Lena or the kisses the Hispanic queue ya beke ena. Get to where we at, hustlers, where we at? Let me give you the 411 one one It's Kona Lapana FVUT, Kona Lapana Esbukeng, good technology transfer and innovation campus. Someone has to let you Utan, doge. Otiana, where is Shia and work designer, no good creator again. I'm a product, I'm Marsh, you have an internship, doing an industrial designer. Get to so what must happen? This is Kasama Wise and Q's, but first, we spend the Q's, Sagu Levig, Umuzo is Ohamba Ganche. What invention lets you look right through a wall? What invention lets you look right through a wall. Hi, I'm Gaz Bafetu. But I know about one invention that can help you send in your answers, Bafetu. You can use your Windows PCs or your phones to send in your answers. Uti hashtag is funny with a capital Q. Besu ngele la pana social media yotu. Ufare eyako impendulo. Gitu samsa wun into gazi. Joba ila pana wun round two. Ishai taskake. Gitu is gonna be a knockout. I'm busy drawing my concept A, which was a chosen concept by myself and the mentor. And I'm just going to draw it on CAD and just 3D model it and also shell it. And the purpose of shelling would, of course, be for manufacturing because we can't make a solid part. It's actually a waste of material. So with the CAD, I'm going to try and take in as many considerations as I can in terms of manufacturing to achieve the shape and also all the functional things that were discussed in my idealization phase. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Once she's finished, uh, I have to check uh, if is the product, uh, depending on the process that she chose and the material, if uh, the material is not going to be too expensive, is the, the product and the material and the manufacturing process, do they go to, together? Once we have like a 3D model on the program, the program, it can allow us uh, to, to produce like uh, renderings of the, of, of the whole product, which then can be used as a form of communication <coughs> to the client. And then the client can approve or disapprove. And it also helps even here as a designer to check the, the sh if the shape and like the, the form that she's choosing, if it's gonna work or what's gonna what's gonna happen with the form, and it also helps uh, <clears throat> for us to actually evaluate or assess uh, the 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 concept in 3D as a 3D model, if it's gonna be manufacturable or if it's not gonna be manufacturable. So when I'm designing a product, what normally happens is uh, the more I go into my research and the more I actually interact with uh, the brief, the more my mind opens itself to the possibilities of the product. And that's where the inspiration comes in, where I view the brief in different ways. I view the brief in an exciting way, I view the brief in a functional way or whatever way. 
and that becomes my inspiration. From there I can look at it as an animal, I can look at it as a plant, you know, even though it's really just a kettle or whatever, you know, but I see what I see and I incorporate that into the design. When I'm doing something on CAD, um, CAD is the, the, actually the longest process in terms of uh, the design process because then you sitting down and designing the details of the product. Now with CAD, it all depends on the type of product and the complexity of the product. Like with the hair clip, it's a seemingly simple product but it has a lot of detail, it's a freeform model, so there's a lot of things to consider. Like every edge of the part has to be rounded off, so all of those things take time. So it actually depends on the complexity of the design itself. I've always been a child that was fascinated with uh, technology and new things and how things are made. So I took uh, computer aided design in high school where they basically teach you these office packages and how to use that and all of that. So I took that as a subject at school, but I also took design. So in combination, it makes it easier to understand the, the general interface of a computer. Well, with CAD, on the other hand, I learned CAD in first year uh, when studying industrial design. But uh, the way our lecturer, our lecturer had a unique way of making you learn something. He didn't, he didn't necessarily teach it to you. His way of teaching was experience. So he gave us a lot of videos, like a whole package of videos about the software. So what he wanted to do was that he wanted to teach us in a way that our learning is always relevant to what we're designing. So like when I'm designing something new, it's an opportunity for me to get to know different features and how to use those features. So my ability with CAD would grow with the kind of designs that I do, not the other way around. Because in that case, he'd always have to teach me every time, like, oh, so you want to do this, you know? So what he did was actually throw us in the deep end, which is a good deep end, because now, I mean, through the videos, if there's something I don't understand, I know I can easily Google them if I don't have them with me. Or I could use my library of videos to get to a certain feature. As long as I know what I want to draw or what it is, then I can sort of find out how to do it. And that's basically how CAD works. The design in general is an ongoing process. You don't just design once and it's done. So a good designer, one of my lecturers would say, is one that always sees a problem in their own design. So you'd constantly want to improve, make it better, you know. Like the world is always changing. I'm sure what I learned in first year is not what the first years are learning now. So you need to, as a designer, have that kind of a mind, apply all the different technologies, the influences, you know, the trends available to improve yourself and improve your products and the processes that you use. On this task, actually, she, she did uh, quite well. She did uh, quite well. Because the renderings that she produced, they can, use, they can be used by the client for, for marketing purposes. And the, the drawings that she also produced can be used for, for communication between uh, us as, a, as the design team to communicate with the manufacturers or the, the, the engineers or the tool makers. Including software designs. Mahaslasic. <laughs> Get to 
Yo, my hustlers, see Pete is in just a game buffet. A mind does not design a Anesanta Gayong Kitesa Seven Sayo, Mika Namalanga, Gaba Moto, Gaba Hippies, no matter a head clip, a session for Amanto Bazana Fit. You want to go on top of the Amaloma design. You see Utando, Una Temple, which I'm also like internship, Konaga Azoba Industrial Design. Got the yo, buffet, a peg and leg queue, as in Kumuz Umbuzo, Uhamba Rajani. Get what invention lets you look right through a wall? What invention lets you look right through? A wall. In town, Chelan would see in the Abaman Kopozi Abaning. It's gonna manage a Samson Hobo with Utando Ohambaranja. We received uh, the part from the laser centering uh, department. And then she, uh, she had to, to finish or to finish the part for, for the client. Uh, she has to send uh, the, the, the part first since it, it, when, when it's laser centered, it has like a, a bit of a rough uh, surface. She has to send it until it's, a, it's, a, it's quite a smooth. And then from there she applies uh, the primer because uh, the two materials they need to bond like with uh, with each other that's the only way the next uh, color that you're going to apply or the final color that's going to be required by the client that's the only way it's going to stick onto the product and then she can apply the final color we we got the part back from the laser centering uh, department uh, tano and as you saw, it's actually, we were happy with the prototype, mm. yeah, the way it looks. And it's uh, two parts. What you have to do now, you just have to sand it down just a bit, and then you, uh, you can spray paint it so that we can actually give it to the client as the final prototype or product. Mm. So I think you can take it from here. Just also check if uh, this part, it fits with this one and then you can continue from there with the finishing. Mm -hmm. Okay, cheers. After, after this uh, process, uh, you call in the client, uh, sh uh, she comes, she has a look at the product, she tests if the parts uh, fit together, how it works and uh, is it going to be marketable. Does she like, like the, the color scheme or how the, the things are? Is it going to fit the market, the environment or like uh, she's going to check if uh, what we're proposing that this is the way that it can go forward if it's feasible to, to, to her. That's how it's going to be. Once uh, everything is finalized, there's a data pack uh, that we have to supply, like uh, manufacturing drawings or the engineering drawings, it's the same thing. So once uh, we, gi we give them the, the final prototype or product or project, it's the same thing. And then we give them like a, 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 data, a data sheet, uh, like it has like all the engineering drawings. It's like a document with specifications, types of materials, the process, and the dimensions, sizes, everything. And the client, uh, she can use that uh, document. She can give it to like industry manufacturers that uh, use injection molding or whichever similar process that she was using uh, for, for a product. From my 3D model, uh, I was able to send it to the 3D printers that use laser centering. The material that they normally use with laser centering is nylon, which is a very flexible material, which is important for our product here, just to see all of the features that we want to demonstrate with the prototype. So I sent them the model and they converted it to a format that can be read by the 3D printer. 
And yeah, so this is the finished part. It takes about a day or two to print a part this big, but yeah. So the purpose of um, a 3D model, if you would remember from my sketches, you wouldn't get to see all of these features. You wouldn't get to see the flexing. You wouldn't get to see the shape of the product and feel of the product. Now, uh, this is why a prototype is important. A prototype basically proves concept. It shows you how this thing would work and actually gives you something physical you can touch and test and you know improve for that matter. If you see any, any things that need to be changed based on this physical model. So that's the purpose of prototyping, because now we can actually put it against your head and see whether our radiuses and our arcs are perfect and if we need to increase that, decrease that and all of that. So it's for testing purposes mainly, prototype and proving concept. In the training you also get to learn on how to make stuff. You learn how to do stuff with wood, you learn how to do stuff with metal, you learn how to work with plastic. Plastic is what we mostly use as uh, industrial designers. So you get a lot of training in plastic and wood and how to finish up these materials. So even with uh, the finishing side of things, in school they'd already teach you about the different grades that you get with sandpaper. Like uh, the higher the number, is uh, the smoother the grade. So with uh, finishing up my product here, I started with a 330, 330 grid sandpaper, which is the coarsest. Then I went to 600 grid. So this is 330 grid, and if you feel it, you can see, you can already see that it's more coarser. And then we go to uh, 600, and the purpose of that is to make your product finer, 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 because the finish that I'm going for is a smooth glass finish, like a plastic finish. But for this prototype, we wanted to do a whole, like a matte finish so that we can see all the imperfections and what we need to be improving on uh, in terms of even the structure of the product, you know. Tando, she, she did great, uh, and uh, the the improvement is just to since it's still a prime. Uh, I still uh, I think that she still has to like add the the realistic color, and she still has to send just uh, the the product. She still has to send it down. Judging by the out outcome, um, I think I did really well because you can't see the lines anymore. Yeah, because when it comes out of uh, laser centering, there's a lot of lines because it prints, the printer prints in layers, right? So when it comes out, you can actually see the lines and you can feel them. So, so I think I did, I did good. So she will go move over to Utsando, get a shy interview, a kill cleaner, but actually, um, Pumela, well, and Galak, which is behind Beganjad, Gabbe, we are Chola, um, seven, no matter, none, you guess, who's Casuas, Nigas, um, Pumela, um, who's always like a Spanish cube of face, Gabbe, no Tolila, no matter, um, who's Boham Baganje. What invention lets you look right through a wall? And the answer is. A window of it. So I did give you a clue. I wouldn't be here by Tolila. Oh my Tolanga. Better luck next time. But let's keep the interaction going on the social media of it. But right now, get you through the wall, through the window, through the door. I'm breaking out of here. Coming back now. So Tando, welcome back. How did the day go for you? Oh, it, was, it was quite challenging, but I, I enjoyed it. I loved designing and this was a, like a real experience for me. Great, I'm glad you're still alive and still energetic after <laughs> all what you've been through. Yeah, I know, it's been yeah. Well, we had Olo in just now and um, he actually told us very really, uh, positive things about your input. He's saying that your presentations were good, your three modeling is good, uh, prototyping is good. So from my side I only heard good things. So well done on your on your first attempt. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I've, I just want to add at this point in time that um, 
and for you to study as a junior designer. I want to say that this is a place where you can grow as a designer. Um, so it won't just be all the junior work, you'll eventually get bigger projects, be, be in a position where you're going to manage projects and what we do in this, in this environment is um, not to do, give you all the little junior work but I'll actually make you a project manager on a certain project and you can then collect a team um, and you can use those expertise to see you through. So it, it might sound daunting now but I think your learning curve as a designer uh, will be much greater than when you're just sitting in a corner doing your little uh, junior designer work. So you, you, you'll find yourself sometimes in deep water but the door's always open to come ask for assistance. And the idea is, is that to grow you as quickly as possible to become a senior designer. Right, so I think probably would have guessed because I can see you're a little panicky. Why panicky? You need to take it easy. So, so, and I think there will be a lot of pressure expected. I think you've heard Les tell you that you're going to be a project manager. I'm not sure if you're ready for any of that kind of work. But for you to develop, you need to be pressurized. So there will be a lot of pressure. Oh, we'll, be, we'll be expecting a lot out of you. I know you are in, in 10, you're still at the beginning of your career. But the more tasks you take on, the more you show confidence, the more you engage with other people in the business. So, so with all that said, I would like to... Give me five, give me five. Take it easy. <laughs> so congratulations, Tano. Congratulations for being one of our interns. It was really a very competitive position. As you might imagine, there are a lot of people who want to be interns, and we only take the best of the best. So you can consider yourself one of the best, and welcome. Congratulations. Welcome. Congratulations. Nice to have you on board. So HR will be in touch with you with all the other logistics pertaining to a letter of appointment and so forth. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey guys, oh, wow, what a day it's been. It's been a great day. I got the job, I'm so excited. Yeah, man, all in a day's work and hard work and having a passion for what you do. And yeah, man, I just want to encourage everyone out there, if you love what you're doing, Go for it, study, no matter how hard it is, study. And yeah, I am so excited right now. Pressa Pusha Panda. Well done, Tando. Ori bonsi sa kuru hufuma na tuto. Upeta ube siri ya sika yona. Eka hobe ya seba keng sens wana leba chubayi ni mkori bana li experience. Kuto ya rona bekeng ena ito kukuos. Ariena, ora tile welding career, oba tla utiba ora ana di scholarship aka di fuma na yang. Bo maspala ba hau filwena. Ba fanda di FPT college si for the courses se nong hori da shoka hala. Beya li for the advertisement. Se limo, se sita maile. Hona aje, oka si di fumani di internship kapa di scholarship inpa. Hona li di short courses se nong hori oka dieza. Se ka hone yang bukhoni li butibi hukene la lefapale na. Sheba di website se na, wii kopanyan li wana hufuma na hongu nga taka di short courses se yo. Hai kaba huna liho sa ufuma nang, hopi lao chake la Facebook kapa website ya rona. Ri eme tisa luna di puto. Watch it, three, two, one, your time is up. Sorry. You to stay shy, level 30, it's knock off time. You know, since hala lagi na utando. Also come to level two, you can be a designer of your own destiny. Kala o makama, minu mpana kamtambu, kutu lo msa bezi, sing ton, sa zonke ntambu, sing pumaranje, uya ustangana nati ku bafezi, our social platform, gisho kona la pana ku website kechu, and also on YouTube. Until next to guess, kutu le karea, emtampo na la pekaya, ongai jablela, giti kumbula, press a push up hand. Don't look down, but we gone fall, but not they gone rise. It's a manga now. Look up and stay up. Goodbye.